Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Yeah, it's a cub. <clears throat> There's a reason it's a cub. I don't know. I, <laughs> I just keep trying and I keep getting disappointed. So this is bowl three and so far I don't have a lot of good to say about this. It doesn't taste like any whiskey I've ever had. And I enjoy Irish whiskey. The tobacco is not bad. I have to clear, clean the uh, striker wheel on that apparently. It's not getting a lot of flavor out of it. Even the tin note was a bit, um, you know, you could tell it was an aromatic, but it wasn't like a, an in-your-face noticeable tin note. So, But I was buying pipe cleaners, and it was there, and I thought, oh, what the heck. So I've... Uh, so we've been laying low a bit. Um, you know, found out, I think it was Tuesday morning, that uh, Ladon Mod Fireblade was doing poorly. And of course, uh, he passed away, I think, yesterday. And I didn't quite know, you know, I, I didn't want to. So. I, I I didn't know Ladon. You know, I just our circles never intersected. Um, I saw some of his videos. I, I knew who he was, but we never interacted. I never got to know him uh, as apparently the, the the fantastic friend that he was to so many folks. And it puts me in a weird situation where <clears throat> I didn't feel comfortable. You know, making a any kind of video or anything because uh, you know, what am I going to say and you know it, it's almost like I'm just creating content be, you know cashing in in a sense on on somebody's passing and I didn't want to do that but at the same time a lot of the folks that I do know well are clearly hurting uh, you know they, they've been affected by Ladon's passing That's a bit of a blowtorch today. I overfilled it a bit, I think. Anyway. Yeah, so a lot of my friends are, are hurting, and I didn't want to just put up a business as usual video yesterday. I didn't think that was right. Um, but I also didn't want to put up something that was insincere. So I posted and linked to a couple of videos during this week and you know it's it's tough because I guess there's a couple levels to this you know one is when we've lost one of our own you know whether we were close or not the community is less well off today than it was a few days ago and that's a sad thing and that affects me that you know I do have emotions about that feelings about that and then I have good friends that are very impacted by Ladon's passing and so their feelings affect me um, so I got all this this kind of emotional reaction, but I don't quite know what to do with it. You know, so I've been walking around for for the past, you know, I guess, almost 24 hours, not quite knowing what to do. And I talked to my wife about it, and she she tried, but she was no help. You know, it, it's it's so far into her that that these kind of things matter. You know, that, that the community that we have is real, um, that we actually do 
get to know people in a true sense. You know, she's more used to the Facebook friend model where, <clears throat> you know, she's got 300 friends and she couldn't tell you anything about them other than they all play the same game on Facebook. You know, that's, that's not the way we function. So I guess the bottom line really is that I'm praying for Ladon's family because you know he clearly was a was a good guy and he will be missed not you know certainly by us but but his family of course is gonna is gonna feel that that emptiness and you know I'm gonna pray that, that God comfort them and give them the grace and the strength to to get through this difficult time and and to move forward and i know that a a good man is is at peace now and so i pray thanking god for that um sometimes hard to be thankful when something terrible happens but there's always a side to everything that we can find that we can say you know, thank you lord this is i see I see the plan just a tiny portion of it but i see it and the emotion you know it's it's okay feelings are meant to be felt whether you understand them or not whether you can justify them or not you don't have to you don't have to tell anybody you don't have to explain it if you're hurting you're hurting And I think the sad thing is that there's so many of us that did not get a chance to know this man for whatever reason. And we can't know everyone. We can't watch everyone's videos. We just can't. There, there's not enough hours in the day. But we can go back and watch his videos. It's a good thing to do. Learn about him. Learn about the man he was, remember him. We can pray for his family. And we can move forward. So that's... That's about it. I know it wasn't very eloquent, and I know it wasn't... Uh, Maybe what you were expecting me to say, I, I didn't really know what to say today. It's, a, it's an unusual situation for sure. And a very difficult situation for many. So getting back to this tobacco, I'm, it, it's, it's got some really good leaf in here. There's Virginia that's a little bit too tart for my taste, but you can, you can clearly pull it out. And it's got some dark fired in it and uh, a couple of unusual burleys, if I'm remembering right. I don't know what I do with my glasses. I can't read the tin without them. Excuse me. A traditional Irish ready rub blend renowned for its smooth smoking qualities. It is relatively smooth except for that Virginia tartness. This blend incorporates various selected Virginia leaf to provide a roundness of taste. Kentucky fired, Indian cured, and aromatic Thailand burley are then added to the main blend. Finally, a light spray of Irish whiskey essence gives the tobacco a final unique aroma. <clears throat> yeah. I tell you, if they left off the Irish whiskey essence, which doesn't taste anything like Irish whiskey, this would be 
This would be a, a hit. I, I would like this to back up. And I may yet learn to like it. I, I, I don't want to dismiss it. This is my third bowl. I want to give it another three before I... I would decide whether or not it's something I will enjoy smoking the rest of. I doubt very much I'd buy it again. I'd love to find a good whiskey blend. And in that category, this is not a whiskey blend. It, it just doesn't taste anything like whiskey. But it's not, it's not very chemical. Um, I wish I could place the aromatic note. It's almost more like a like a melon, um, like like not a really sweet melon, but like a like a cantaloupe kind of melon flavor, but not quite. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a few more bowls and I'll let you know how it turns out. But at least I got pipe cleaners, so that's something. Well, it's Thursday, which means tomorrow's Friday, and we've got Cane Rod Pipes live, and I'm really excited because our guest is going to be Doug Owen. Uh, Doug is the proprietor of the Cargo Hold. Uh, out in uh, Washington State, I think it's Polsbo uh, is, the, is the name of the town. Uh, you all know Doug. He, he's, he's a common uh, visitor and commenter in live streams, and uh, he is very knowledgeable about pipes and tobacco. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting to know Doug a bit better. Hope you'll join me Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll have a good time. Doug's also a movie buff, big fan of Sherlock Holmes, if I recall. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have a, a real nice time chatting with Doug. And I probably won't be smoking Peterson Irish whiskey. All right, friends, why well, thank you for, uh, for sticking with me through this one. I know this wasn't a very coherent video um, and it touched on some things that were difficult so uh, I hope you were able to see through that and and hopefully understand that my heart is in the right place I'm, I'm, I just didn't know what to do so you all take care and I'll see you Friday night bye now